and then we'll sit up together. Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm recording this so I can put it on my YouTube page so that if you ever need a Saturday class Wednesday morning at 3.13 a.m., it'll be there for you. By the way, none of your images or names are recorded, so no worries, except for the NSA, so it's not really a problem. Anyway, uh, if, if you're watching this for the first time, it's like, who's this guy and what does this guy have to teach? just pure human enlightenment as fast as it possibly can be had. So close your eyes and we're going to meditate for one minute and then we'll get up and do some Saturday frisky yoga together. For some people, the push-ups and cartwheels are the easiest. Sitting quietly is the hardest. It drives them crazy. This might be the whole class. It would be unusual, but it could happen. Good. Now, in this Saturday morning class, we love chanting together and the syllable we chant is om for all of its remarkable benefits big inhale Okay, in today's prayer, affirmation, intention, invocation, God, love, source, spirit, universe, science, whatever you like to be called, bless us with a perfect infusion of life, love, and truth in our practice today. Amen. Om Shalom. All right, we'll start out standing in our field. Now, at my advanced age of 46 years old, I do use yoga blocks, and I always tell the truth. So we're going to start in what I call forward folding. I'm going to have my hands on my blocks. If you're super spectacularly flexible, you can do whatever you want. But it's this is not a static pose yet. I lift and pedal my heels a little bit. I pull the pin out of my hair, I shake my bonnet out, I take my librarian glasses off, I wag my, I oscillate my buns a little bit, and then my brain drains from a week's worth of accumulated thinking since last Saturday, 167 hours ago when we moved and grooved together. No rush just yet. Good. Now we're going to lift both heels, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, push your heels down and just come on down and don't breathe for three seconds. Go deeper on the exhale. One, two, three, and arise up, yogis. Come on up. And one of them obligatory yoga inhales and exhales. Great to see y'all. Y'all. Good. And now... Joint juice, movement. If you happen to be seeing this for the first time, it's like, this isn't yoga, and well, then you're not a yoga student, so it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, this is yoga. Yoga is anything we do that facilitates connection with our source. So quit judging me. Stop it. Yeah, didn't this feel good just to be a zombie and go side to side? We're always walking forward, but we never... We never go to the side. Good. Now, 
slacky per quacky, just kind of slinky. And spin your arms. This is where the feet stay grippy. Close your eyes. Swing your hair around. Slap yourself because your arms are so free and easy. I like to keep my knees bent because then they're not straight. Helps me feel a little more corkscrewy. Face goes along for the ride. Life is good. Sure is good right now. Three. Two. Now, next time you go to the right, left hand, right shoulder, tuck your right arm behind your back, grip your feet and corkscrew into the floor. Look way around behind you to the right. Inhale here and release it over to the other side. Tuck that left arm as far as it goes. I recommend bending down, leaning down into your joints as you turn to get that torsion, tension, springy, coil, auger, corkscrew. That's six words that it's like. And release. Inhale up, Jogans. Exhale out. Good, now, left foot forward. Turn on to your right toenails and swish and swirl your heel. Boy, I sense some heat coming today. I mean, not like 90 degree heat, but 70 degree heat, which is rare for this June, isn't it? Six, seven, eight, other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sink in. This ankle is dorsiflexed. This ankle is plantar flexed. We sink in as deep as our current capacity will allow. And then we close our eyes and we depend upon our feet to provide us with optimal balancings. Open your eyes, come up and out, right foot forward, left toenails. Smear your toenail polish around. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way. If you're one of my Zoom friends, you might be saying, hey, you have a YouTube page? I didn't know that. I sure do. You could like it and subscribe to it. I'm going to have a million followers and 909,000 million new ones. Sink in. Now establish a nice balance over your feet. I recommend a 5150 balance. Close your eyes. Be soft and firm at the same time. This one's so good for you. Good. Come up and out. Now with these bendy ankles, we're going to do amber waves of grain. You sink down and you roll up. This is called Vyayama. It means breaking up the congestion of the body. It's movement yoga. It's not static and stuck. Most people are static and stuck and they don't need more static and stuck. They just need to stir the pot. Three. If you don't know what I'm doing, I can't really describe it. Just mimic me. And then we inhale up together. Now feet together if they fit and pull yourself up off your boost, boot straps way up. And then stretch up. There's always extra when you do tippy toes pose like there's something on a there's just that shelf that's just a little higher. Maybe you're you know, some of us are six foot two, some of us are five foot two, and there's that, it's just not fair at the supermarket, the stuff that's on the top, you gotta get way up there so yogis can get the stuff on the top shelf. That way you have high shelf esteem, snicker. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, I can count backwards from 20, I think, eight, six seven five three oh stay up on nine and close your eyes balance up on your tippy toes with your eyes closed open your eyes drop your heels knuckles on your head cool off your shoulders lean left good up you go warming up getting the engine on to the right
All the movements can be mild, medium, or circus performer, depending on your capacity. This is yoga for everybody. Arms up. Reach out. Good. Now step out this wide. Arms behind your back. These are called poofs, where you go up your back, behind your neck, and you cry out poof at the top. And the neighbors are like, what's going on over there? And none of their business. Behind your back, behind your neck. Poof. By the way, I invented this movement. No one had ever done this before in human history. So, boy, are you lucky to be in this class. Poof. I'm not much, but I'm all I think about. Poof. Now, lace your hands behind your back if you can. Heels in, toes out. See this stance? This kind of Charlie Chaplin knee bendy thing. Inhale and endeavor to bring your head and your butt down to the floor, head down. My new class in Pleasant Hill, people will keep their head lifted here and I have to go by and bonk them on the head to get their head to drop. Just kidding. Inhale, look forward, drop your keister a little more. Exhale, head and butt down, arms all the way over, squat and head down. We're heading downtown. Come on up. Release your arms. Wang, they say. Lace your hands, drop them. Push your palms up. Now toes in, heels out, toes of the pigeon. Push the sky up. This guy is the limit. And we'll side bend second time. We'll probably do six, seven side bends at least. This is the one with the wider legs and the chest turning up and to the right a little. Inhale up and to the this side. Find that stretchy, delicious, yummy, breathe into it, euphoric feeling. Inhale, you know that feeling. And release out, good job. Okay, comfy wide stance, as wide as your hips, but feet parallel, lace your hands, thumbs up. I'm gonna, sl I'm gonna slide my thumbs down the side of my neck. If you're new to this, this is not your carotid artery, this is the wide side of your neck eight brushes with your thumb, thumbs, if you have two. I'm gonna turn my air conditioner on real quick. I want, you to, I want you to tell me via chat if the sound is oppressive, because I need to know. It's just hot as heck in my little place. Good, now take your opposable thumbs underneath your jaw, right there. Relax your face into your hands and dig in with your thumbs and really relax your face into your hands. Please send me a chat if the sound of my air conditioner makes it not good. If you can't hear it at all, that's great. Good, now relax your chin down. We're gonna take our coconuts around eight times. One, two, three. Relax your shoulders, four. I feel my engine turning on, look out. Six, seven, Eight, other way. One, two. Stop thinking, just do hanging out with your tribe. Five, six, seven. And the best thing ever, relax your head down for 20 seconds, eyes closed, stop thinking, just feel. More feeling, less thinking. If you're brand new to this, don't you just love this so far? You're calling all of your friends saying, you got to try this kind of yoga. This is the bomb. Shoulders, one. You know why? It's because everybody can do this and everybody doesn't do this, but they could. But if they started, they would feel better in their body. 
they'd be happier, they'd be more cooperative, there'd be less conflict. Seven, pretty much rainbows, unicorns all the time. Other way, back up over, forward, around, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, I'm gonna step out a little wider because I'm gonna really start using the hands now and I wanna have a stable base. These are called roly-poly guacamoles. This is good if you play the piano and the drums and the guitar all day long, like I do. Not that you'd know it from my playing. Yeah, my papers are gonna fall off my drum kit. Hang on a sec. Good. Now shake your hands out. I call this getting poop off of your hands. I have strange names for my poses. Good, and now wave hello to your friends. Teenagers talking excitedly about what they're doing this summer. What are you doing this summer? Playing video games all day long. What are you doing? I'm TikToking all day long. Excellent. That sounds productive. Faster, faster, faster. Cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin, close your eyes. Of course, if there had been TikTok and video games when I was their age, I would have been more addicted than anybody else, probably. Those whippersnappers. Relax your arms down, inhale, my friends. See how we're going all the way through our body. Exhale out. Now the hands land, land on your hips. Looks like you have at, don't give me that at, give me your attitude. Toes in, heels out. And now we're gonna churn our butt, churn our butter. She's making Montequilla, we're churning our butt. Er. Head stays stationary, hips go crazy. Six. This class is being recorded on a Saturday and you might need your hips. Other way, one, two, woo! Now your feet grip like cats being pulled up off of carpeting. Six, seven, eight, movements for a long, healthy lifetime. Inhale up, my friends. Exhale out. I've got no chats about the air conditioner, so all is good. Inhale for an ohm, long and proud. Oh, Moses parting the Red Sea. Oh, Drop your chin, close your eyes, be a calm and peaceful soul for the rest of your life. A lot of yoga is just about ceasing endless chattering of the mind. Good, relax your arms down, inhale up, regular inhale. And exhale. Now hoppity hip your feet together. Jump for joy, hands above your knees. These are knee loops. One, two, down and to the right. If you got stiff, crabby knees, little ones. If you're bendy and amazing and resilient and buoyant and springy, you go down, you scrape your butt on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Other way, one, two, three, Four, lower, five, six, seven, lower, eight. Come on up, kids. Woo! Lace your hands now. Push your palms up. Push your feet down. Isn't that weird? Can you close your eyes and feel your hands pushing up and your feet rooting down? 
Yeah, you can feel that because I just asked you to and you're smarter than most yoga students. Lean left. It's our third side bend, so we should be somewhat more bendy or, or, or inhale. Tether this way. Ah, oh, it feels good to use our bodies together. We're like avatars, big blue lizards. Up you go. Inhale, flop. Okie doke. Now from here, we're gonna take our arms out to the side and look at this movement. What, what's he, what the hell is he doing? He's going side to side, making his arms go in and out like the propeller shaft of the of a boat. Ah, oh, it's kind of nice, isn't it? You don't have to think about this, just enjoy it. Good now. We're gonna warm up our shoulders with just one of these. You could say poo. Now you could just grab your wrists or grab your elbows or Sometimes yogis pray behind their back. This is when you pray for things in secret, like material stuff, new cars, I need a new wardrobe, that kind of thing. You don't want everybody to know you're that materialistic, but God knows. Shrug your shoulders around. One, two, three, four. Other way. One, two, three. Four. Now, this is Tadasana. It's kind of a formal pose. I look like a mountain, don't I? Strong and bold and amazing. Chin level, body firm. Turn my face to my right and we'll tilt over. Fourth side bend. But our arms are uh, locked in, so we're opening up new tissue. Inhale up, turn face left. Tilt your right shoulder blade over your left shoulder blade. Rest of the body, legs firm, straight, strong. Good kids, inhale up. And we're just gonna fold halfway over, halfway. I love half and half. Head is pulled forward, bum is pulled back. If this is challenging for your lower back, bend your knees a little bit. It'll take pressure out of your back. Good, now do slightly bend your knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, and how deep can you forward fold with your hands in prayer behind your back? I'm just a very middle-of-the-road, run-of-the-mill, range-of-motion guy. I'm not at the top of the class. I'm not at the bottom of the class. I'm right where I belong. Press into your feet. Come on up. What I can do is I can talk you through it. Chest up, lean back, back bend, eyes open, lean back, put your head on the floor, push your heart up. Inhale, come up, my friends. Good. All right. Now we got kind of a frisky sequence coming that everybody on Saturday just loves. As far as I know. Exhale your arms way out to the side. Now, open up your palms wide open, facing forward. This is Kate Winslet on the Titanic. The palms turn up. Just lean back a little bit. Eyes, close your eyes and trust. You're on the front of the Titanic. You're leaning. You're leaning up and out. Good. Now, look forward. Sweep your right arm under. Fold up your arms. And now, take your right foot up over your left foot. Now, if you need a little training wheel, use your right toenails over on the left to hold your balance. If balance feels good, just lift your right foot. And if you're one of those bendy yogi people, put your right ankle behind your left ankle and we'll balance for a while. Sometimes we balance and sometimes we balance. We hold it for a while, getting strong. Good, now release your arms. Bring your right knee out in front of you like this. Take your left hand, grab your right foot behind your behind, and bring your right hand down to the block or the floor. 
Good, now on an inhale, try to touch your right knee to the floor by scrunching down a lot. On exhale, bring your right knee to the ceiling, head all the way down, straighten your left leg as much as you can. Good, now slightly bend left ankle, left knee, take your right arm out to the side for a famous pink flamingo pose. Go as low as you can, by all means, by all means, literally. Now, right hand down, release your right leg back. Take your left arm up to the ceiling for Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. And as I do like to say, expand open as big as you can. Twist open, get big like, like a cat puffing up, scaring other cats. Good, now bring your left hand down, please. Now the right arm opens into standard Ardha Chandrasana. It's one of the best poses. It just expands your body. It twists your hips. It, it makes us big, healthy, and strong. Stretch your right toes open. It's got something for everybody. Good. Now bring your right hand down. Re-grab your right foot with your left hand behind your behind. Stand up holding on to your foot. Good, now release your right knee out in front. And this is the point of the practice where we just like to chill a little bit and wave our arms like a large albatross, balancing all the while. Right ankle in front of your left knee and bring your hands down to the blocks or the floor. This is called throne, T-H-R-O-N-E. Now I just want you to squat as low as you can, keeping your hands on the blocks. Keep your left heel down and stretch your left knee as far forward as you can. That will stretch your Achilles tendon and your lower calf muscle. No kidding, you say. Now, hands in prayer for balance. Good, now hands on the blocks. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold over your left leg. This is a variation of a radically much more difficult pose, but for most of us mere mortals, this is fine. Head down, buns up. One, two, three. Now repray with your hands and stand up out of the pose. Bring your foot down. Inhale together, friendly friends. And we'll enjoy a forward fold for three breaths in order to get those particular dents or impressions out of our body. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. This is Baya Kumbhaka, somewhat more technical. Push all the air out, don't breathe, go deep. One, two, three. Now stay down for a couple more breaths as you uh, gather, as you re Recompose, drop your head, wag your shag, let go of cares and worries. Everything is always working out for upward spiral yogis. Good, exhale together and we'll come up together. Inhale as per. Regular exhale, you guys are doing great. Okay, side B, lining up my feet. Sometimes stuff gets in the wrong place, fixing my clothes, any wardrobe malfunctions going on, I'm trying to fix, arms out to the side. Couple of scary crows. Mm, I like this, it makes me feel mm, mm, good. Now palms open, lean back, chest up. Good, now look forward, sweep your left arm under, fold up your arms like this. If you can, just grab your shoulders, totes cool. Left knee up over your right knee. Now at the start, I use my left toenails on the right as a training wheel. And then I want you to really feel your right knee slippy, slidey underneath your left knee. Now really bendy people, they get down crazy lots in this pose, elbows out, wrists away. Lift your left foot if you want to really work the balance over your right foot. And my bendy slinky bears, they'll be putting their left ankle behind their right ankle, making me jealous and making me covet. 
and we'll hold it for a while to build strength, determination, persistence, consistency, bold, amazingness. Good. Now your arms should go out and your left knee comes out in front for a second. So we're all on the same page. See this right hand over here in front of the red painting? It's going to grab my left foot behind my behind as my left hand comes to the floor. Now this is the this is the key to the pose, inhaling, bending your right ankle, right knee so much your left knee touches the floor. People can do that. I can't, but I talk a good game. Good. Now, on exhale, left knee twists all the way up to the ceiling. Your hips totally turn open, head down, right leg fully straight. One, two, three. Good, now slightly bend right ankle, right knee. Keep your hand on your foot back there. Take your left arm out to the side. This is called balancing pink flamingos. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance, and I think it's a perfect name for us in this pose. Good, now left hand down to stabilize. Left leg just release, left foot releases back. Right arm savagely twists up to the ceiling. So you're turning your torso to the right as you're lifting your left leg. In piano, that would be called counterpoint, head forward, left leg, right arm up, get huge, open up like a fan. I'm a big fan. Good, now bring your right hand down, please. And extra turn your left hip, left arm, left everything up and to the left and open out as big as you can. You're a sail on a sailboat, open up. Push out through all of your limbs from the center. Good, now bring left hand down. Cleverly, carefully re-grab your left foot with your right hand and stand up with aplomb and dignity. Now, left knee out in front, wave your hands like a Graceful heron or crane flying. Woo! Left ankle over your right knee. And in the 70s, we used to get down a lot. We used to get down. So squat into your right leg as deeply as you can. Really drop your buns, chest up. Now pray together. Now hands on the blocks, you're a triangle, two hands and a right foot. Super bend your right knee, right ankle. Keep your right heel down, extra stretch your right Achilles tendon. You're gonna squeal a little bit. Sorry, not sorry. Inhale, exhale, straighten your right leg, head down, kiss your right shin, butt is pulled up. Don't breathe. One, go deeper, two, four, Good, now repray with your hands. Come up. Put your foot down. Even yoga teachers lose their balance sometimes, but they generally regain it. Inhale. Good, now arms out to the side. We're gonna do a poof up our back, and then we're gonna ohm because we're kind of breathless. And when I mean ohm, long exhale. Inhale up your back. Oh. Hands in prayer, close your eyes. And we're going to take 42 seconds of eyes closed, chin drop, standing peaceful meditation. From 60 to zero in no time flat. Do you feel your beautiful heart going pump, pump, pump? Hearts love yoga. They like to move and breathe. 
Brains love yoga because they can turn off. When my, it's a big turn on for me when my brain turns off. All right, thus concludes part one-ish. So now you can just, you can shake it out a little bit. You can do some hokey pokey. Smoke them if you got it, just shake it out. Fixing my pants. Sometimes the inner clothing gets a little jammed up, loosen it up a little bit. T-shirt fits great. And now this is where the elite meet on Saturday in order to have a group seat. So have a seat. Are we done? Not even close. We got some gut wrenching. We do some planks and some sit-ups and some core work. But for a second, we just chillax. Now, look at the height of my head. I'm bad posture, bad, bad posture, Greg. Perky, Greg. Greg's chin is level, yours is similarly level. Close your eyes, bring the attention of your breath to the tippy most of your nose. And we'll do Vipassana meditation for one minute. That simply means feeling the inflow and the outflow of your breath at the tippy most of your mo nose to the exclusion of all else. And now for years now, upward spiral yogis, my good friends and myself, we've been embedding this affirmation deep into our psyche, soul and molecules. We might say it out loud. I am a calm and peaceful soul. until they did core work. So all fours, kitty cats. Gatos y vacas. Vacas, gatos. Vacas, gatos. Vacaville, los gatos. Such a good movement, huh? Good, now extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. I saw a video of Mick Jagger. He just turned 80 and he does this every day. Helps him to get his yaya's out. Us too. Now reach your right arm back and grab your left foot. If you can, if you can't, it's okay. This is yoga for all the friends. And then just lift up stretch pull yourself up as high as you can i would give myself a solid c minus on this movement but i don't care because i'm not judging myself i just want to be healthy happy and strong good now release your right arm out bring your left leg back again now beginners bring your right elbow down to the floor veterans bring your right shoulder and right ear down to the floor and then bring your left leg up as high as you can. This is done from the right shoulder or the right elbow, something for everybody. Now, if you want more fun, take your left arm up simultaneous. Now, if you want even less fun, re more fun, reach up and grab your left ankle. And then pull your leg up as high as you can until your pants rip. And then just smile and We'll just do this for a while. This is so good for you. Uh, all you have to do it, there's no comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. Release and come out. And cool off with some cats and moos. Meow, moo, meow, 
move. Do three more of those. Okay, kids, good solid all fours. No more catting and cowing. Left arm forward, right leg back. Mick Jagger asana. We don't think of Mick Jagger as being 80 years old, do we? We think him bouncing around on stage and helping us. He helps us start up. Good. Now reach back if you can. Grab your right foot. If you can't, just reach back. And then now ballerinas and circus performers, they bring the heel to the back of their head. In this particular lifetime, I am neither a ballerina or a circus performer, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last weekend. So I'm lifting up as high as I can. Good, now left arm out, right leg back. Beginner pose is just left elbow down. That's fine and kind of lift your right leg. This is good for, most humans. Left shoulder, left ear, if you can. It's a twist, inversion, side bend. Now, right leg all the way up for the sheer hilarity of it. Hilarity of it. And then your right arm goes, swing, yang, 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 yang. And you find yourself having lots of fun. Now, reach up and grab your right ankle if it's in striking distance. This is really good for your right quadricep and hip flexor. And just straighten your right leg now. <laughs> Push into your left forearm, get healthy, happy, and strong. Release and come on out. Good. Now, if you can do it, turn your hands 180 degrees around outward, external rotation. Do a couple of cats and cows with your bod in this position. Drop your chin. Good. Now, here's a position I, I wish I could show, but I'm going to fold my toes under, but I have desperately unfoldy toes. But since your toes fold a lot, do that. That's ankle dorsiflexion. And then sit on your heels with your hands turned backwards, your toes folded. And this is a pose for four-year-old kids. Ask your grandchildren to do this. They'll show you how it's done. Sometimes I'm a good example of a pose. Sometimes I'm a warning, but I talk a good game. If you ever want to come over and talk a good game with me, I'd be happy to. Good. Now turn your hands forward now, please. Ah, good. Now come down to your elbows. See that? Now with your elbows down, just drop your bum back as far as it will. My knee doesn't bend so much, so I can't bring my buns all the way down. Just rest for a moment, child's pose. We got some plank and push-ups and horrible stuff coming, so try not to think about it as you just relax back and chill for a moment. Two more breathings in pose of child, also known as balasana. Kids, now we're going to do a plank and plank can be done on your toes or on your knees, depending on your current level of strength. So one form of plank is just knees back here, come forward and you do this. This is fine. Fold your toes under and do full plank if you can. And we just hold it, we get strong. Plank is one of the best inventions in human history for overall bodily function, torsion, strength, core ability. And another way you modify is by how long you do something. Say if we were gonna do this for five minutes, you might wanna do it for 30 seconds and watch the rest just eating popcorn and laughing at me. That would be fine. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, believe it or not, you get to rest on your right ear, bring your big toes together, ankles apart, 
and just jiggle your bottom globes a little bit. Woo! Jiggle the buns like bowls full of jelly right here and jiggle your stuff for a sec. Good, now we're gonna do the best kind of back strengthening and back bending for us mere mortals, face down, feet spread, and just lift your chest. These are called prone back bends and they're the safest kind for people that aren't gymnasts. Drop your chin as your chest comes up. This is a nice variation here. It's a little stronger to just lift your legs simultaneously, arms sweep back. The higher your chest, the more you drop your chin. Use big muscles. If you can lace your hands behind your back, do that. If you can pull your wrists together, do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Now rest on your left ear again. Let your hands go plump and jiggle your stuff. Wiggle your undercarriage. Soothe your heart, calm your mind, pacify your soul, be happy for no reason. Good. Now, last strength pose. Bend your knees like this. See that? My knees are bendy. Everything's really happy. Nothing horrible has happened yet. Press up into knee plank. Now, for many of us, upper body strength is an issue. So just being on your knees, holding yourself in this pose is a wunderbar thing. If you could do one or two knee push-ups, you get a big gold ribbon today, or maybe eight or 10. Whatever you can do is cool. Maybe you can't do full military marine push-ups no more, but you can do these and you just do what you can and the universe will take care of the rest. And speaking of rest, just go back into a child's pose to conclude strength sequence. Now, if you can bring your buns all the way back, I'm proud of you. Some people can widen their knees and bring their buns to the floor. And I don't want to bend my knee that much because I've got things to do later today. Rest here for 22 seconds. Okay, I've got a feeling it's noon based on my internal clock. So it's noon, come up out kids. And now we're in the yin part, the calming, relaxing yin concluding sequence. I love this part because it's the, it's the calm after the storm, or as I like to say sometimes, the clam after the storm. And our breathing, pace might be a little elevated, so we calm the nervous system by breathing from our belly. You might put your hand on your belly button and just rub down here and say, I'm breathing, I'm a breathe down here. I'm a done breathing up here. I'm a breathe down here. Good. Close your eyes. Just breathe. Shoulders relax. Everything is always working out for us. It's important at the end of a vigorous practice to wind down. To do that, we'll extend our lefty leg out thus. And now, can you bring your right ankle over your left knee? Maybe your knee is way up and you kind of have to lean back and you're not terribly happy. Sorry, but you will be in two weeks. Hold your left shin under if you can. This opens up your wallet. This is super amazing pose called Yogasana. It's really good for grounding, rooting, settling. Now, grab your elbows 
and brings them up here and work your elbows side to side. Maybe your elbows are down here. You're just getting started and it's like, golly, man, I ain't done this for a long time. Veterans are way up here. Oh, here comes my cat. By the way, if you're just watching on, I'm the guy on YouTube that does yoga with his cat. His name is Looney Bin. It's crazy, crazy, wonderful. Hi, guy. Good. Now, bring your arms down, right forearm on top. Hi, guy. I'm doing the same pose, but holding my cat. We are calm and peaceful souls. My cat just took a swing at me. Good, relax your arms down. I'm about ready to get badly scratched. Okay, now take your thumbs into the middle center bottom of your feet and massage in. We're gonna do some reflexology pressure point yoga. This is the heart lung center. So if you dig into the center of your foot within reason and now hold steady pressure, drop your chin, close your eyes, Make a triangle in your mind's eye of your third eye and the two centers of your feet. This will clear up all anxiety, worry, fear. This will clear it all up. John Lennon said, we're surely not here to live in pain and fear and yoga is the antidote. Good, now pull your thumbs out of your punctured feet. Stretch your right leg out. We're in the home stretch, kitty cats. Now, if your ankle doesn't go over the top, boy, are you in the right place. Just kind of make up something. Put this over the top if you can. After a while, your right shin will fold under simultaneous. You'll look down, it's, it appears your shins are lined up, kind of. I kind of push my right foot forward to open up my buns a little more. I don't want to be a tight a right now grab your elbows and switch it the weird feeling way like that and then bring them up to wherever they go and then there's something that seems sort of egyptian or beautifully persian or it's like i'm belly dancing with my arms you do not want to watch me belly dance but my arms will do it maybe you do want to watch me belly dance leave me a chat if you're loving this on YouTube, make sure to like it, whether you like it or not, subscribe whether you want to or not, and spread peace, love, and happiness around the planet. It's what we do here, upward spiral yoga, arms down here. Now, what's really cool is your left forearm is on top, and your hands go flump, close your eyes, chin level, and stop thinking. Some people say I can't stop thinking and they're right, but you can. Good. Now swim toward me, arms up your back. We're gonna ohm. So fill up your ohming mechanism, your ohming device. Om. And to conclude our movement, we'll bring hands into the heart, drop your chin, and I invite you to pray or meditate as you like for one minute. Now I'm going to say a prayer in Sanskrit, loka, 
samasta, sukino, bhavantu, that means love, joy, peace, and truth to all beings, everywhere, always. Okay, now I'm going to time about five minutes for my friends to lie on your back. If you're new to this, watching this, it's called Shavasana. It means corpse pose. And you get to, believe it or not, lay on your back and be unencumbered and unhindered by my constant caterwauling. Okay? Blankets are cool. Pillows are wonderful. I like a washcloth soaked in chloroform, whatever you like. And I, I'm going to be quiet for about five minutes while you do positively nothing.
Okay, beautiful friends, stay nice and relaxed. Enjoy the afterglow, no rush. Just here's that guy's voice from a million miles away. We make our transition back into our body, slow and steady. We might imagine ourselves actually breathing ourselves back inside of our physical body. And as you feel yourself reoccupying your mortal coil, a wonderful ritual is to wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate extra super feel good through yourselves. I call it extra super feel God through yourself or nerve endings of God, so to speak. So we're back in our body, we're feeling good, curl onto your right side into fetal position, taking your time. Fetal position, curled up little kid position. Good, now it's important to keep your eyes closed as we sit up together. It keeps the internal vibe within, helps us to feel visceral, connected, vibrationally blended. It's easy to find your seat with your eyes closed. With our eyes closed, our spine stacks up a little taller. And yogis have the most beautiful ritual for conclusion. The chin drops. We humble our brain down to our heart. We bring our hands into our heart, which represents having our actions be motivated from the heart. And then our brain and our hands and our heart all merge together. We are connected. And yogis say that if I go deep into me and you go deep into you, we come to the same place together. And all together we say, Namaste. Now, Zoom friends, hang on for a second. YouTube friends, thanks for joining. This is the viral class that swept the world and got a billion views because if an alligator playing um, darts can get a million views, then yoga that brings peace around the planet can as well. So like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, do the YouTube thing, have a beautiful day and Zoom friends, I'll be with you in just a sec.